Good morning. Good morning, Carrie. How are you? Oh, I'm still above the sod. I'm I'm okay. <laughs> what did you have for breakfast today? I do. I a pot of coffee. Oh, sounds good to me. I still need to get mine. <laughs> okay, so so tell me, what can viewers expect during the monster, the Mountain Monster season finale? Yeah, it's a great one. It's a two-hour one. Um, it's going to air next Friday night, uh, July 25th at uh, 10 Eastern, 9 Central. Um, I mean, excuse me, 9, 9 Eastern, uh, 8 Central. Um, it's a two-hour season finale. We go back to Ohio after the Ohio grass band. Uh, we have a team member go down. Uh, we find a moonshine still. It's exciting. Oh, sounds intriguing. Okay. Pardon me? Well, I said it sounds interesting. It sounds oh, it interesting. is. It's a great one. i got to find out who goes down. You're not the one who goes down, are you? I'm not going to tell you who goes down. You're going to have to watch. Oh, man. Okay. All right. That's fair. <laughs> okay. So the AIMS website talks about a, a, an encounter that you had that really transformed you into a believer. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened to you? What's happened to me and what now? The AIMS website, it has it talks about encounters that each one of you had that really made you believers and those yeah. mass monsters. What was your encounter like? Well, I've been chasing this damn uh, Wampus Beast in Pleasant County for years, but we've had all kinds of encounters. We've had Bigfoot encounters. We've had Pocahontas Far Dragon encounters, uh, Cherokee Death Cat encounters. Uh, uh, we get to the, we get, usually get to the bottom of the investigation pretty quick. And we do that because we have great witnesses. Uh, we rely entirely on our witnesses. Right. Yeah, I've seen some of the videos on the show. What's the scariest experience you have ever had on that show? What's the most interesting witness? Oh, sure. You can, sure, who was the most interesting witness? That's fine. Oh, I think Shoeless Terry. Shoeless Terry was... Shoeless Terry from down in West Virginia... And uh, he was, uh, uh, let me say, was it Cooper Cobra? But anyway, he never wears shoes. Never. Never. It, it's it, it, The only time he'll put shoes on if he goes in someone's house. Uh, well, at least he does that, right? Yeah. What's the, what's the scariest experience you've had while you were on the hunt? The Snallygaster. Preston County, West Virginia, up in the mountains. Yeah, he was a flying creature, uh, and uh, he gave the team a, he gave the team really a rough time. He actually ran us off that mountain. Hmm. There was more than one too, at least three. Oh, great! Uh, in the Snallygaster episode. Okay. Now, which which monster would you most like to capture? If you had to pick one. Oh, it would have to be a Yahoo or a high grass band, a Bigfoot-type creature. What would you do with them if you happened to catch them? I think we would just photographing. Those Bigfoot creatures aren't dangerous. Okay. They're not. And we'd photograph him, uh, try to get some hair samples or something like that, and we would turn him loose. Do you think that, do you think that he would be open to that kind of thing, or do you think you'd have a fight on your hands? Well, um, the team's open to that. Uh, the team's not open to that. We've we've made that decision in the past, and and, and uh, we'll do that. Uh, we'll turn him loose. We don't. Um, we're all we're all country boys, and uh, I know there's big rewards and all that stuff for him and all this stuff. But uh, uh, if if we'd capture a Bigfoot, that would be so unique and so great, and. Uh, uh, we wouldn't. We wouldn't. Uh, we would try to not harm him in any way. Uh, oh, of course. Uh, no, of course. Yeah. yeah. The mo- the biggest trouble of getting any of them in a trap like that, <clears throat> and that's why we build all live traps. Right. Uh, is uh, they'll actually uh, any creature like that in the wild that you put in a live trap, uh, you have to worry about them hurting themselves trying to get out. So. Uh, we might not get a great big look at him or something. We may, uh, if we think he's going to hurt himself, we'll, uh, we'll, turn him, we'll, we'll turn him loose real quick. But we want to prove that he exists, and uh, that's our main ambition. Right. 
What do you say to people who watch the show and say, okay, that's all made up and you guys are just kind of crazy running after these monsters? What's your message to them? Well, they got to walk in my footsteps. And then the, then they would understand. Um, <laughs> I, I, I know the question you're asking me. And... And they're watching, and, and that's what we want them to do. And uh, it's not all made up. It's uh, uh, there's no there's no scripted. There's uh, not one of us is, could remember a script to start with. Probably, it's all natural. Uh, it's it's filmed just as it happens, and uh, that's all I can tell them. Oh, I I hear you. I believe you. That I I totally believe you. I'm a. Uh... I'm originally from Maryland, and I have some family in West Virginia, so I know that some strange things can happen out there. Well, anyone that's spent, anyone, you know, uh, uh, coon hunters are a, a great source uh, for witnesses and out there, and I was a coon hunter for years, and my dad was a coon hunter, and we always hear things that we don't understand in the woods, and once right. in a while we'll, we'll see things. Let me tell you how it comes with sightings, too. <clears throat> Some of my very first sightings, I would say to myself, did I actually see what I just seen? You right. understand what I'm saying? Totally, yeah, no idea. Yeah, don't. so, and we're, we're kind of built like these, these people back in these deep haulers and the people that actually see stuff, so they don't mind talking to us. And, and they wouldn't talk to a suit at all. So uh, we communicate really good with hill people, uh, with our mountain people, and uh, in the country people, any state we go to. So uh, uh, that, I believe that's why we're so successful. Right. No, that makes perfect sense to me. Okay, so one last question for you. Okay. What's one, what's one thing about you, Trapper, that might surprise fans of the show? <laughs> Well, I'm old. I'm 67 years old. And I'm still going pretty strong. You know, uh, I got one bad leg, and uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, what you see on the show is just exactly what I am. I mean, so I, there's nothing there that I could probably uh, tell them about me that they don't know. No, that's perfect. It's good to be exactly who you are. <laughs> Okay, well, Trapper, thanks for talking to me this morning. I appreciate it. Good luck with the show. Thank you. Take care.